This is how I would solve the second sample problem from the single digit multiplication video. I'm going to show you my, my sheet that I will use to organize my notes. The problem we are solving is 5 times 8, so this will be where any tens for the second row, if I have to remember any numbers from this side to move tens up, and on this side I'll keep tally for 8. And this one I'm going to explain two different ways, so it's a little easier. Maybe one will be easier than the other for you. But we're going to start with normally, where we just count out groups of five, eight groups of five. Let's start, and let's keep our tally. So we've got one, two. Now I can move a group of ten over and move these ten meads back. We can go three, four, and we can move another ten over and move these ten beads back. And we can go four, five, or five, six, because we started off, we had four, and this is a group of five, then this would be another group of five, so that would be six. We can move another bead over and move these ten beads back. Now, if we were going to stop here, it would be like we were doing five times six because we have six tallies over here, nothing over here because we haven't had to remember any numbers. So if we were doing five times six, our answer would be 30. But we need two more groups of five, so let's do two more. And then one and two. Now we can move one 10 beat over and move the 10 ones back. This gives us our number because we have eight tallies, and so we have our number over here on the abacus which I will write out, but you can probably already see that the answer is 40. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one different way, the way I showed you with that last one I did. It's a little easier in some cases, but can also be a little tricky. So if you are up to the challenge, why don't you try it this way next? So we're going to solve the same equation 5 times 8. So we know we have to make eight groups of five. And rather than going through and making all eight groups of five, we can know that if we make four groups of five, we're halfway there. So instead of doing that, we're going to do five times four plus five times four, which in all reality is the same thing as five times eight. So whatever 5 times 4 equals, we're going to do that plus that. So let's figure out 5 plus 4. So, or 5 times 4. We've got one group. Let's keep a tally over here. Two groups. Move a 10 over. Move the ones back. Another 5. That's 3 and 4. Move the 10s over and move the ones back. At this point, we have figured out half of 5 times 8, which is 5 times 4, which is 20. So I'll show you how it would look. We're now going to do this problem, which is a lot easier than counting out 8 groups of 5s, which is 20 plus 20. So instead of doing another 4 groups of 5, 1, 2, move them back, 3, 4, we can just double this number and go like that. And we have 40. Because we have 5 times 4, because we were halfway there this way, and if we double this answer, we know that we're all the way there. Which, again, is 40. This way can be a little more confusing, but can also give you some more time. So that's one way of doing that, and your answer is 40, obviously. Your abacus will look like this.